What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Aristocrat channel. My name is Rohan and in today's video we've got a really really cool watch unboxing and review video for you all today. No, it's not a Rolex, it's not a Patek, it's not an AP. In fact, I think the tax that you would pay on any one of those watches I just mentioned would probably be more than how much this watch is worth. Yet, this is still one of the hardest watches to get in recent history. I'm talking about the Casio G-Shock, reference GA2100. Now what's even cooler about this one today, this is not just any GA2100. This is one of the models from the recently released Translucent Collection. And I am super thrilled to be showing this to you guys and opening it for the first time with you guys in front of the camera. Just like Seiko, just like Rolex, just like Patek, G-Shock has its own massive fan base. And like every one of you watch enthusiasts, I remember owning a G-Shock 10, 15 years ago. I had this really, really cool blue G-Shock that was like a triathlon special edition, but that's besides the point. Let's turn the camera around and take a look at what's inside the box. Before we go any further, customary wristwatch check. I am wearing my trusty GMT Master 2 today. I just can't get enough of this watch. This is definitely my uh, daily wearer. As you can tell, the box is cut open. To be honest, the reason why is because I actually did not know what this package was, but I swear to you, I, as soon as I saw this, I kept it shut. I have not taken this out yet. So this is the first time we're gonna be doing this. Let's do this together. Nice compact size, GA2100. Guys, I really don't think you understand how excited I am to open this thing. I have been wanting one of these for such a long time. As many of you are probably aware, this thing sells out as soon as it goes live. But enough of that. That's not what you came here to see. Let's take a look at what's inside. Hmm. That is a big boy right there. Hmm, what is this? Oh. I guess kind of like a little makeshift watch pouch that you can put your watch on. It's kind of cool, we'll take a look at that later. And here we go. Put that to the side. Oh, I am so excited. 20 bar G-Shock. Anybody that's ever owned a G-Shock, you know these boxes are nice and sturdy. The warranty card. Wanna take a quick look at this? Let's take a quick look at this. Casio G-Shock, shock resistant international warranty card. Put that one to the side. And here she is. Oh my God, I am so excited. And ladies and gentlemen, the GA2100. Man, this thing is beautiful. Carbon four guard. That face is ridiculous. It is a lot more legible than I was expecting. I was a little concerned about how legible this might be because to be honest, if you look at the indices, they're black and they blend in pretty well with the face, but I like those white little indice markers at the end as well. I have to say the pictures online definitely do not do this wash justice. I think this looks infinitely better in person than it does on pictures. When I first got this watch, to be honest, I was not necessarily super, super excited about it. I've wanted one of these shapes for a long time, ever since they released it, but obviously I just was not willing to pay secondhand prices for it. But when I saw this one go on, I instantly jumped on and tried to get my hands on it. And now looking at it, I'm fully convinced this might be the best variation of this watch that is out there right now. Granted, I haven't seen the other ones in person, just based off of holding this in my hand and looking at the colors, I find it hard to believe that those other ones are going to be better than this. Let's go ahead and let's get this thing on. So first impressions from wearing the watch, it is super light. Oh my God, I was not expecting that. I mean, to be honest, it looks 
I feel I feel like it looks a lot bulkier than it actually wears. I mean, granted, the whole thing is like see-through plastic. I was concerned that this part of the watch just looked really chunky and would wear really heavy. But after putting it on, I am shocked at like how light this watch wears. And knowing G-Shocks, you know this thing can be thrown up against the wall and probably come out looking better than it already does. So I have no concerns about its durability just because it's a little light. Speaking of light, let's take a look at what the light looks like on this watch. <laughs> Obviously, it's a little more difficult to look at right now. Overall, I have to say I am super excited to get this. This is definitely going to be in the rotation as a daily wearer. In terms of specs for this watch, the size of this watch is 48.5 by 45.4 by 11.8 millimeters. The total weight of this watch is around 51 grams. It is water resistant up to 200 meters. And the case in the bezel material is a carbon resin composite. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think of the 2100? And of all the colors that are out there, which one is your favorite? Another thing I'm really interested to hear from you guys is, generally when major watch brands come out with watches that clearly are inspired or have design elements from very, very famous watches. It's normally heavily criticized and critiqued by the watch community. And I'm really curious to hear from you guys why you think this Casio is not as scrutinized as some of the other watches out there. I'm not saying I'm against or for it one way or another, but it's interesting to see the reception of this watch versus let's say the Chrono Master Sport, which has definitely taken elements that are inspired by the Daytona, but this watch has taken elements that are clearly inspired by the AP Royal Oak, yet one is loved and yet one is completely torn apart. So I'm curious as to what your thoughts are. Leave a comment below. Also, we are getting so close to 1,000 subscribers for the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And more importantly, make sure you stay tuned because once this channel hits 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing another big giveaway and you're definitely not going to want to miss this one. Leaving comments, liking these videos, subscribing to the channel are always the best way to contribute to the channel. So seeing your comments and seeing you guys subscribe and like the video is really what keeps me going. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.